I would like to congratulate the other poodle winners and this is, will be my first PC tomato guide, this will be a more shittier version unicum guide, because this was made by a 48% scrub, so I hope you learn something for poodle users, if you're not a poodle user, this guide is equivalent to the VK 30.02M, well then let's go. The Poodle is a tier 6 Polish medium tank and the first Polish tank in the game. In order to harness the novelty exclusive tank here's what you do. Right click the tank, and after that you click sell. After that you input of how many credits it will sell. After that click the sell button, and get something that isn't a piece of sh- <laughs>The Poodle is a tier 6 medium tank, and also the first Polish tank in game. This is an example of why Polish are lazy of designing their own tanks, and started capturing whatever tank they find. This shows that Wargaming is yet again running out of premium tank ideas. It's basically just a nerf panther, and moves its position to tier 6 and charges you $40 on a copy and paste panther. The Poodle is just a marketing strategy just to please German tank males fantasy. If you want to get one free just get a VK 30.02M, or just get an alternative medium tank instead. As medium tank you have to do free rolls when playing your Poodle. Firstly you support your teammates pushing through the front line just like the western front. Secondly you snipe at long distances and farm damages just like how Germans rate the T-34 in the eastern front of Russia and thirdly flank slow tanks and drain their health pool with your mosquito gun. In order to harness the copy and paste panther here's what you do. As for equipment setup, you buy gun rammer, improved ventilation and enhanced gun laying drive. Binoculars and coated optics are optional. As for ammunition setup you bring 51 armor piercing shells to deal casual scrubs. 25 WN8 unicum shells in case matchmaking. Gives the middle finger and say fuck you. And 5 high explosive shells to deal weekly armored tanks. The Polish Panther has better armor and health pool than any of its tier 6 premium rivals, but it doesn't mean you play like a heavy tank. You use your health pool wisely, and don't YOLO like a rental peasant. You side scrape its armor effectively, to make those players who trash talks, that the poodle has crap armor making them wrong. Its RNG capabilities is greater than a Russian tank and throw away the third caliber rule, because you can just bounce high tier shells like Wonder Woman gauntlets, however all of that disappears when your cancer friendly self propelled gun tank starts raining down stage to cancer shells upon you, but you will get the satisfaction once you killed them mercilessly. It also mounts the 7.5cm KWK42L-70 gun that has an excellent penetration of tier 6 enough penetrating any tanks in the game the cannon has laser accuracy making your shots go land through perfectly like dead shot. Because of its laser accuracy players will mistake you using aimbot. Now what I'm going to do is just completely leave it so this is, this is how the player played this game. I'm going to leave it so we can show exactly what the player is is aiming at so you can get an idea of where the the auto aim assistance is coming into effect i.e the aimbot i presume so the player could have auto aimed that using an auto aim assistance one i.e one that you don't have to click directly on the tank one thing that's interesting though is that we don't get the voice notification when he auto aims so look at this this is the dodgy bit look how it's giving lead to that tank that he's able to hit now it's giving lead to the tank as he's going through the dirt, so unless this is some kind of absolute micro-boss who can somehow 
Now that's actually impossible, isn't it? There's no way, while he's looking straight ahead, that he could possibly be giving lead to the target like that in third person, unless he locked his tracks. Now this is very interesting. Get the aimbot gun is also a master of saltiness. You troll tanks with your unbalanced rate of fire, while spamming Cramo on brain dead tier 8 tanks not noticing you. Start training your crew with sixth sense, snapshot, smooth ride, situational awareness and adrenaline rush. After your first skill, go for a pairs. And after your second skill, go for brothers in arms. And then ask on forums what crew skills you should train. If you disagree my opinion, this is how you play the poodle, the tomato way. And start making tons of credits like Scrooge McDuck. I'm now starting to run out of ideas now go out there and play the poodle and glory to Polska.